Good morning, friends. Okay, we're gonna try and do a live outside. We'll see how long it takes before someone comes and interrupts me. Um, I wanted to talk about this yesterday because hard is a reoccurring theme, I think for a lot of you, especially if you've been off track or you're just getting started. Um, and there's so much conflict around the word hard. So I just wanna talk about it because for a long time I was like, we shouldn't say things that are negative about our journeys because it does carry an energy and it can create, if that's your mantra and you're focusing on it, it creates more of that. So obviously you want to cultivate more of the good. But I also think it's really important to be honest around where you're at. So let's just talk about things being hard. Yes, it can be very hard to be on a wellness journey. It can be very hard to lose weight. It can be very hard to make some shifts and changes. It can be really hard to finally prioritize what you need to do. Those things is true. It can be very hard. It's also hard to be very uncomfortable naked. It's also hard to hate the way your body looks. It's also very hard to not enjoy getting in the pool with your kids or going shopping. There's lots of things. There's lots of things that are hard, right? So when I was doing my workout yesterday, Autumn said, yes, this is hard and it should be hard. And I was like, tell me more. And so she said, it's gonna be hard and it should always, some level of this should always be hard because if it's not, then you're not challenging yourself. And inside the challenge is where the growth comes. So if you have a mantra today that it's really hard, first of all, I'm challenging you to dig a little deeper because if you're living in the space of this is too hard, that won't serve you. And it's not gonna motivate you to show up. It's not gonna help you get momentum. So I'm asking you to be honest around where you're at but to change what that means. Yes, this is hard, but I am strong. Yes, this is hard, but I am worthy of this effort. Yes, this is hard, but I'm doing it. I'm so proud of myself. It's okay for it to be hard. It's not okay for you to quit. It's okay for it to be hard and for you to be proud of the fact that you are pushing and you are showing up. So like Autumn, like I started to say for my internet, she said, it should be hard. If it's easy, then you're not pushing yourself. And the better you get, the stronger you get, the more consistent you become, lots of this will become easier. And then that gives you a space, a gap, room to find more of the hard stuff and to make it your thing. You know what I'm trying to say? To make it your biatch, like own the journey. It's okay for it to be hard. I want you to be proud today if you find some part of your journey is hard because that means that you're doing the work, you're doing the uncomfortable stuff, and you're leveling up to that next version of you. It's okay for it to be hard, okay? So I'm giving you permission today. If you're like, this is really hard, it is. And I see you, and I'm proud of you, and I want you to keep going and keep finding that next level of challenge. And if you're in a place where you've been working at this for a while, and so many parts of it are suddenly easier, or you found your groove, that's really cool. But now it's time for you to find that next level challenge. You don't have to call it hard. You could say, this is my challenge, or this is my whatever. But if you're living in those negative words and giving them negative power, it's too hard. This is a struggle. I don't think I can do it you're not serving yourself. So honor where you are, honor the struggle, <laughs> recognize that it's a challenge, but like find the positivity in it. Become your hype girl, make your highlight reel. Today was really hard. I was really, like yesterday was legit hard. It was super busy, but I still showed up. I still used my tracker. I still drank my water. Did I get all my veggies in? No, I didn't. Did it, that mean I, I didn't, I wasn't successful yesterday? Absolutely not. I lived my life. I did my best. And today is a fresh start. So I'm sitting in my yard. I did, I listened to my affirmations using um, Think Up, which I'm recommending. Okay. I used Insight Timer, which I'm recommending. It's a free app with meditations. And I just listened to a four minute one on like breath. Like I, and to be really honest, I hit pause on it while well, I did something on my phone, but then I went right back to it. <laughs> See, it can be hard, but it's okay. It's all right if it's hard. It doesn't mean it's not for you. It doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. It doesn't mean this is a waste of your time. It just means that you're a human. Welcome to the club. Congratulations, there's a butt ton of us, okay? So it's all right if it's hard, but I'm challenging you to find your freaking belief and your strength and your victoriousness in that. Will you do it? 
maybe. Okay, so we have a Zoom in 12 minutes. Um, I need to get dressed apparently. I'm gonna be on there, but that's a standing date. I'm going camping, so I don't know if I'll be on Zoom. I don't know what our internet will situation will be like, but there's always ladies on there. This is your journey, okay? It doesn't need to look like anyone else's, and it does not need to look like the one you had once upon a time. I know a lot of you are living in this weird shame cycle. I get it. You're not who you were once upon a time. So you making a goal to become her isn't accurate. Like you're never gonna be able to be who you were five years ago or whatever. Set a new goal, make a new promise to yourself, more importantly, that you're gonna honor this journey and that you're gonna show up to it. You're gonna embrace the challenge and this uncomfortableness because that is you breaking through to that next level of you. You don't need to be who you were once upon a time. You need to be who you were created to be now and take the action to level up into that, that next level version of you, okay? Okay, so that's all I have for you today. I hope you show up. I hope that you choose to put on your perspectacles, to find the good, to find your wins. You guys, if you push play for five minutes and you freaking like march in place, I'm gonna say that's a win. And I want you to say that's a win too. That is you choosing to show up to your journey when there's 500 other things demanding your attention. That is you choosing to make your shake. It is you choosing to drink water. It is is you choosing to watch a, my, a nutrition video. There's so many options available to you. Just because I'm doing something one way doesn't mean you need to. This has never been a robot group. This is you figuring out what you need and taking the action every single day, okay? Progress over perfect, that's how we win at this. If you need anything, I will be in my inbox later today. Um, a last call, okay? Look, there's always gonna be something on sale. I'm not trying to create any kind of FOMO, but I do want you to know if your Beachbody On Demand is renewing or has renewed recently, um, if you want Shakeology, if you want the nutrition plans we've been talking about, if you just need something different or you need BOD, I have a $20 off coupon. If I'm not your personal coach, go talk to yours. They have a coupon as well. It expires in June. How was today the last day? That's crazy. Um, it's just tools in your tool chest. I want you to win. So stop making excuses. Stop living in that place of this is too hard and say this is hard and I can do this. I am worthy of this time. I am worthy of this effort. I am capable of taking action and changing my story. I can get forward momentum. I don't need to be motivated. I am going to choose myself and that is how you win and I'm already proud of you. So log your accountability. Do what you need to do today. Find your freaking wins. Be your own hype girl. Spin it, sister. Spin it, okay? I'm not saying you can spin. I ate an entire bag of Doritos, and look at me. I only ate one bag. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying, but you know what I get. What I'm eating, right? Right, okay. If you need anything.